you're also used in a warm-up role at this point in time for some of the uh, long raw tapings. What do you remember of doing this and whose idea was this? So, look, I think it was we were kind of a hot item, so we would do the uh, me and Jeff or me versus somebody. But, you know, it was it was easy to send Jeff out there with me and have a dark match or have an opening match to or Coliseum home video, which we used to do back then. So, look, it was also an opportunity to get me in the ring and working a little bit, uh, which I didn't want to do, but I knew they were going to do it. So I thought maybe I should try to be good at this. Um, so, yeah, it was just an opportunity. I don't think it was anybody's big creative idea it was just like let's get the kid some reps and, and see what we got in him too you know through those reps do you think that interaction with the crowd allows you to build that rapport connection and build for better reactions when you are then in the tv situation a hundred percent yeah yeah because look you you try your stuff out and you go okay this is gonna work the wiggle wiggle knee they pop for that a little bit whatever you know you're gonna figure it out when you're out there but yeah if you're not in front of a live crowd then you have no idea how to wrestle for a live crowd you know what i mean and, and look sometimes today we have wrestlers that go out there and wrestle like a TV match at a live event crowd or something, you know, really fast and not, not taking the people's reactions into consideration. And that's the whole idea, man. If not, if you're not doing it for them, I, if you're doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the wrong person. I can tell you that much. Dog. All right, let's get back to the business. Your role with Jeff is what's known in the industry as a heater. For those that don't know, can you explain what that means and what the purpose of that role is? Yeah. So, so look, I, and again, this is all uh, subjective wrestling and, and terminology and all that is, it's it's evolved during the time. So, so I would consider a heater as being Diesel when he was with Shawn Michaels. I've considered myself more of a valet slash manager slash whatever. Like a heater to me seems like Raquel Gonzalez behind Dakota Kai. Seems like Kevin Nash. Like that's a heater. But you know what they also say? A lot of guys today go, I'll get some heat on you. Then you get some heat on me. And I'm thinking... Well, no, only the heel gets heat on the baby face. The baby face shines up front. Like there's, so there's different terminology that people use that's, I'm a old school stickler for some of the terminology. I don't think I was a heater. I think I was, a, like I said, a second, a valet, a, a manager, um, but definitely a guy on the outside that could take some bumps because look, that's what I used to love that, especially writing the show, not so much having the matches myself, but writing the show, I would always love to have, oh man, we could have their partners out there on ringside because then you can get involved and it helps with doing finishes. And you know what I mean? Like I always love to have somebody extra out there uh, that you can do something to when the time is right. And that's what I was. Um, so yeah, I, I would say his bumper more so than his heater. <laughs> his no heater. heat. Just cool, like the chocolate ice cream he talked about. Oh, I'm Look at that. It's like magical how that just showed up right there. <laughs> even... Wait, what is that? Joe Bel oh. Castro gave this to me when he left WWE. <laughs> I, and I think one of, the, one of the wrestlers gave this to him as a gift. And, yeah, and I, got some, I got some ice cream. Well, that's like... <laughs> What's it taste like? Don't taste it. Don't taste it. All right. Um, where were we? Where were we at? We're dead. All right.